Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my channel. So many of you guys have been asking me, Dan, can you please do a Sharks vs Whales and Dolphins collection video? So I've actually prepared all my Sharks, Whales and Dolphins, place them into the box. I'm going to be sharing with you every single figure. I'll try to tell you some facts about them and um, yeah, whether I like them or not. And so let's get right into it. Let's go. I'm excited, guys. Let's go. Okay guys, so let's begin, okay? The first one is actually a pretty cool Goblin Shark. This figure, we got them, uh, I mean, we got this like quite recently. So do you guys know that Goblin Sharks, they are actually super, super hard to find. You can only find them like really deep in the ocean waters. Like really hard to find. We have another one, which um, is a little bit more cartoonish looking, but still it's a pretty cool one. I love the shark figures that actually have some, you know, movable jaws and fins. So this is this is another one which I really like as well. It's a really cute one. Okay, let's take a look at the more realistic figures. And speaking of um, realistic figures, this is actually one of the most realistic ones that we have in our collection. This is actually a humpback whale. I really love this figure a lot because it feels so heavy. At the same time, it has a movable jaw. Okay, so humpback whales can actually easily recognize them by the little bumps on his body. So initially, I couldn't tell, you know, a hornback whale from a grey whale and from a sperm whale. I'm gonna tell you guys how to actually recognize them. Okay, so hornback whales, just remember hornback whales, they actually have like little bumps on his body like this, okay? Little like round little bumps. For the sperm whale, you can actually notice it by the very squarish head. So this is actually the sperm whale. So once you see a squarish head like this, you should know that it is a sperm whale, okay? This one right here, it's a little bit harder because there are many whales that look like this shape. So grey whale is one of them, blue whale, say whale are also um, quite similar to this shape. But you can actually tell them by the colors, colors um, differences, okay? Let's move on. Right here, we have a prehistoric shark known as a Megalodon. I love this figure. I think this is this has got to be our best figure in our entire collection, okay? This is actually a very realistic statuette. It's not actually like a toy, it's not like a figure, it is a statuette, okay? You can see it looks very gruesome, all right? So Megalodons, okay, let me try to find a shark. We have plenty of great white sharks, okay? So let's try to find probably this one. Okay, okay, definitely not this size. I'm gonna show you guys later on, but basically the Megalodon is 10 times the size of a shark. So a shark could be roughly about this size right here, okay? About this size. Let's try to find a minifigure later on, okay? But this is my most favorite figure in my entire collection, the Megalodon. Okay, let's move on and take a look. And speaking of Megalodon, this is our biggest one. It is one of our most adorable ones. I know that many of you guys actually like this a lot. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. You can actually make it like swallow little fish like this. You know, pop it into the, the mouth. And um, you can actually retrieve it by opening this one. I mean, it works the same way as the Super Colossal T-Rex. You know, the giant dinosaurs that we have in our collection. I mean, if you guys do not know, I'm dead surprised as well. So you can check out my um, dinosaur channel. Okay, if you love dinosaurs. Let's move on. We have a whale shark right here. I think we got this figure like, you know, from a set. Not the best one, but whale sharks are actually like future figures. I love them. Next, we have a nair whale. Nair whale are basically like dolphins with an overgrown tooth. Yes, this one right here is actually a tooth. This figure is pretty cool, but I don't really like them because this little spear, they get bent very easily. Okay, um, check this out. You can see this one is really bent. Yeah, it's really, really bad. The condition is really bad. All right, but that's okay. Let's move on and take a look at our other figures. We have a scallop head, scallop hammerhead shark. Let's do a comparison with the um, hammerhead shark. So this is your usual common hammerhead shark, and this is your scallop hammerhead shark. So you can see the difference. It has like little curves and bumps on the hammerhead. So yep, a bit fancier. Okay. All right. Uh, let's move on. Great white shark. You are going to see plenty of great whites in my video, okay? We have plenty of great whites, at least 30 of them, at least. So this is one of them. Um, it's a pretty cool figure. I think we got this figure like all the way back in like 2015, probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's move on. This is another Humpback whale. So like what I have mentioned, 
Humpback whales are easily recognizable by the little bumps on his body, even on the um, flip, uh, the the flippers. Okay, all right. Let's take a look at this one. What about this one? This one is actually a right whale. Yeah, I mean the right whale. You can actually see like you know a lot of like white patches and white little bumps on his body. So that's the right whale. The reason why it is known as the right whale, I mean it's named the right whale, is because there are plenty of whales out there. But this one is like the most convenient to poach. Once this whale has been killed, the carcass, the body will actually float to the ocean surface, making it easier for the farmers to get them. Yeah, it sounds really ironic, right? Next up, another goblin shark. So goblin shark is one of the most hideous looking shark that you can actually find out there. So once it sees its prey, it will actually stretch and extend its mouth in this kind of manner. So it looks really, really um, hideous. Okay, so that's a glob goblin shark. They're not easy to find. Basking shark, they may look very, very scary, but they are actually quite gentle. They're quite docile. They are filter feeders. They don't eat, um, you know, they don't attack humans, at least. They feed on like little streams and crew. This one right here has got to be one of the most aggressive sharks out there, the bull shark. The bull shark is the most aggressive sharks, even more aggressive than the great white. There are actually more attacks, you know, from recorded, more, most attacks recorded by a bull shark as compared to a great white. This is a tiger shark, it's easily recognizable as well by the tiger stripes. Next, we have a beluga whale. You know, initially I called this the white whale, so yeah, I think it looks really, really adorable. We have two beluga whale figures, I think the two huge ones, and they can actually use echolocation to help them find a way in the ocean, which is kind of cool. This one right here, it's a mako shark. I'm gonna show you guys a short fin mako shark later on. I'm gonna put this right here first so that we can actually do a comparison. And um, this one is known as the bow hat whale. You can see it has a um, what do you call this bow head? Yeah, I mean the shape is really really like curved, okay? Which is why it's known as the bow head wheel. Next up, we have the orca, also known as the killer wheel. They are the apex predators of the sea. They can even kill a shark. The shark don't dare to attack them for sure because they are really huge, they are fast, they are intelligent, they are powerful. Another basking shark right here. This one is one of those, you know, really fun um, figures. Really adorable as well. Sawfish, it's a very, very cool uh, marine creature, I would say. So once they see their prey, they will actually use a saw tool, move it sideways to slash up the um, prey, which is kind of um, cool, uh, before feeding on them. Yeah, they like they like to cut them into small little pieces before feeding on them. <laughs> okay, next up, what about this one? This one is actually known as the white, not white tip, black tip reef shark so you can see this shark it has like black tips all over the place all over the fins and the flippers cool shark okay and another really beautiful great white or maybe this could be a megalodon who knows okay you can see most sharks they have plenty of scars on his body i have no idea why because i think they are quite or um, you know they maybe get into fights like quite regularly and they're kind of like clumsy i guess another great white right, right over here okay Hammerhead shark, you guys know the hammerhead sharks, they can actually use the head to pin down its prey. You know, for example, there is like a, um, let's just use this as an um, imaginary um, stingray. So you just use the hammerhead, press it down while they feed on the stingray, like this, because the mouth is right here. So they use the hammerhead to press it down before feeding on them like this. That's pretty cool. Okay, we have two all cars right here, two killer whales. They are the apex predators. Do you guys know that they can even take down a whale which is so much bigger than them because they are that, they are that um, powerful. Not kidding you guys, okay? Next up, we have two whale shark figures. This figure has been with me for like um, a longer time. This one are uh, for a shorter period of time. Whale sharks, they can reach up to like two to three meters, I think like 3 meters or even 5 meters, I can't, I can't remember but I've, swim with the, I've swam with them before while I was having a trip in Maldives. They are filter feeders which means that they take in all the water with the mouth and they filter out all the food particles like the stream, like the crew, basically small little sea animals that you can't really really um, see. 
if there's one right here, I think it should be a bull shark. I'm not exactly sure because the name is actually not written right below, but I think it could be a bull shark. This is another great white and another really beautiful one, great white shark, but I think this knot right here is way too sharp. Yeah, it, it cannot be that sharp, definitely. No way is that sharp. Next week, I can tell you guys, this is like one of the most significant, one of the most easily recognizable shock out there. So this is basically a thrasher shock. Yes, thrasher shock. You can see the tail is like really, really long, super long, in fact. Okay, let's move on. Right here, we have the Genghis River Dolphin. I think it looks really, really adorable. I'm not too sure whether the eyes are actually made correctly. It feels a bit too small, but they are definitely very, very interesting. You can see the snot. The mouth is like so long and so narrow, so that is a very, very interesting one. Next up, we have the Mega Mouth Shark. Have you guys, have I told you guys this about this? So this is quite similar to Goblin Shark in a way because they are so rare, so hard to find. I think only less than 10, if, you know, less than 20, I'm not too sure the exact number of this Mega Mouth Shark were actually discovered, spotted. Yeah, they can only be found like really deep in the ocean water. Next up, we actually have a sand tiger shark. I think when it comes to the appearance, they look the most ferocious because of their teeth, but they are actually not as dangerous as the bull shark because they only feed on like little fish. Okay, next up, um, this is probably a tiger shark, I think. Okay, another similar bull shark figure. Oops. And here we have another really beautiful great white shark figure. I think this has got to be our best looking great white shark. Yeah, I think one of the best, if not the best. We have two similar hammerhead shark babies right here. I mean, I mean it's written as a baby below. Um, yeah, I, I feel they look kind of cute, but I don't really feel that they look like babies. What do you guys think? Let me know down below, okay? Here we have what I've told you guys. Basically, if you see a very squarish head, it is a sperm whale. Yeah, that's right. Moving on, we have two. Okay, this this is different. This is actually an orca. You can see the orca fin is super long right here. And this one is actually a pilot wheel. I think we have a brand new pilot wheel figure right here. So they do look kind of um, very different. Okay, this is actually one of the um, one that we have got recently. So the pilot wheels have quite a very distinctive head, which is right over here. It's like really, really round. Um, you know, quite similar to the beluga wheel. Yeah, I think so. So adorable. Next up, what is this? This is a blue wheel. So blue wheel, grey wheels, they do look kind of similar, kind of. This is actually a grey wheel, so it's not really easily recognizable. Um, but of course, the blue wheel you can see like, you know, like stripes across. The underside so this is actually a blue wheel nice little figure next we have the atlantic white cider dolphin this is the only species of dolphin with a very unique yellow stripe across the body very cool and this is an um a narwhal a small little narwhal i would call this like a narwhal calf i guess another beautiful killer wheel right here this figure it's been with me for like a long time I think this is a new figure that we have just added to our collection lately. Pacific White Cider Dolphin, our one and only large figure. We do have a tiny little one like inside the, uh, the box. And um, here is the grey wheel, nice one. And um, this is supposed to be a Megalodon, yes. Um, do you guys know that Megalodons like sharks, they can actually regrow their tooth. If they miss a um, tooth, if they drop a tooth, it will actually grow back, which is kind of cool. Another great white, like what I've told you guys, I have plenty of great whites in my um, collection. Zebra shark. This one isn't actually known as a zebra shark. Zebra and leopard sharks, they are actually the same type of sharks. Their body patterns will change as they grow. I think they begin with, um, I'm not too sure, like stripes, and they will slowly turn into spots. I, I, I can't remember, guys. It could be the other way around. Right here, I have a shark, but I have no idea what you know is the exact species of this shark. It is probably a um, bull shark, who knows. And here, we have another great white, and I think this figure, it looks very, very cool. Okay, it looks really cool. Next up, 
Um, we have a blue shark right here. Yeah, a blue shark. It looks like a Mako shark to me. It looks a little bit like a Mako shark, but it has a longer tail. Okay. Uh, what is this? This is another hammerhead. Seems like we have quite a few hammerhead sharks and another one. I call this a lamorant hammerhead shark. I don't think there is a species called the lamorant hammerhead shark because, uh, yeah, I mean, I basically give it this, um, this shark the name because of its color. Okay, because we do have a shark which is known as a lamorant shark. So if you take a look at these two sharks, um, they do look kind of similar when it comes to the color. So this is actually known as the lemon shark, purely because it has a yellow tint. Kind of cool, I think. Alright, another Megamoth shark, which is a really rare species of a shark. Grey Reef shark, um, I think they are one of the fastest swimming sharks out there. Pilot Will. Do you guys know why they are known as a pilot will? Because they actually swim in pots. Pots means like group of dolphins and there's always one pilot which is like the leader swimming right in front and all the whales will just follow the pilot. Yeah, this is why it's known as the pilot whale. We have another bow head whale. This is easily recognizable as well because of these, uh, you know, this curved looking mouth or head. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. This is known as a fruit shark. I think it's one of the Longest living sharks out there, I think. And this is a um, leopard shark, if I'm not wrong. So you can also call this a zebra shark because they are actually the similar um, species of sharks. This is easy to recognize, and um, there's only one name for it. It's basically the tiger shark. We have another basking shark with the mouth wide open. Okay. This is known as a shark ray. I have no idea. You know whether shark rays are closer to sharks or closer to, to rays or maybe they are even not close to any of them. I remember I read the fact but I can't remember. This is known as a mink whale, okay? Moving on, yes, like what I've told you guys, blue whale and say whale, they do have like some similarities. I mean, if you take a look at them, the body shape looks kind of similar, okay? And Bottom nose dolphin guys. I mean dolphins needs no introduction. They are extremely intelligent. They are also very very friendly. I love dolphins. Another great white. You're gonna be seeing a lot of great whites. Okay. Another one. Okay. I have plenty of great whites. And uh, a mini sawfish. Okay. Another scallop hammer hatch. We have two of them. Sometimes we bought. You know we we got the same figure. You know by mistake. This is a shark fin Mako shark, and this is a Mako shark. I have no idea one why why one is known as a shark fin Mako shark and why one is called a Mako shark because I feel the fins are more or less the same same length, so that's kind of weird to me. Another great white shark, but this one has got to be one of our uh, you know least. It's not it's not looking good. This one is it's definitely not a nice figure. It's not pretty. This is a bamboo shark. Yeah, it's a shark. I'm not too sure how it got its name from, but I think it should be based on the patterns on its body. You know, those stripes could re resemble the stripes on the bamboo plant. Another great white, beautiful figure. Um, this has been with me for many, many years. This is a bonnet head shark, which is kind of um, similar to hammerhead in a way, but you know, the, this hammerhead is actually much shorter. This is a nurse shark. You can easily recognize this, but the two little fangs right in front. Okay, and we have a Blaine Views Victoria as well, right here. So you can easily recognize this, but these two little protruding knobs right in front of the face. So you guys can see this, you can see little bombs. So this is basically a humpback whale, a mini figure. I mean, it's not really that mini, but it's kind of smaller than most of the um, humpback whales that we have. This is a great white. Um, This is a white tip reef shot. We do have an oceanic white tip reef shark. I'm not too sure whether it's still here. You can see. So this is the oceanic white tip reef shark, and this is the white tip. Uh, this is an oceanic white tip shark. This is the white tip reef shark. So this is basically um, in shallower waters, and you can see the white tips is actually like you no know, different. This is more distinctive, and this is like more graduated. All right. Let's see what else we've got. This is another blue whale, I think, or is it grey whale? Yes, it's a blue whale. This is a Vaquita purpoise. They are critically endangered. I think there are like less than 10 left in the world right now, which is very, very sad. This is a Beluga. 
This is another dolphin, probably a bottlenose dolphin. An car. Okay, you can see this fin is like really, really protruding long. This one is, I think it's a bottlenose dolphin. I've actually told you guys before that this figure, I think they got the paint scheme wrong. Another bottlenose dolphin. Pygmy sperm whale, guys. Pygmy sperm whale. This kind of whale is actually very small. It is the size of a dolphin. Okay. This is a warbler gang. Okay, warbler gang. Do we have another warbler gang? Oh, just now I've actually used a warbler gang to feed, um, you know, the megalodon, but I didn't mention it. And um, this is a zebra shark. Okay, also call this a leopard shark. Okay, both are actually fine. This is probably a, uh, I'm not too sure about this one as well. Probably a zebra shark as well. Um, a ghost shark probably. Yeah, I'm not too sure, guys. Sometimes I, I really don't know because they, some of them doesn't have a name written right below. This is a bottle nose dolphin. Um, and another ghost shark and shark ray. We are now left with a couple of um, small little figures. Let's just take a look at this. This is basically a beluga calf. Okay, um, another beluga and another bottle nose dolphin. So we are left with a bunch of small little dolphins. Okay, this one is actually the um, Pacific White Southern Dolphin. Yeah, we have a bigger figure just now. I'm actually showing you guys. This one, I have no idea what this is. It could be a Mako Shark. Yeah, I mean, it's like super, super small, I think. This one, um, yeah, I have no idea as well. Probably a Bull Shark. This is, um, it's really sharp. So it could be a bull shark. I mean, it could be a blue shark or a bull shark. And uh, we have a mini hammerhead. Another one, mini great white. And um, our last two figures right here. Another great white. And this is probably a um, nurse shark. I'm not too sure. So thanks for watching this, guys. So I basically showed you guys my entire collection of sharks versus whales and dolphins which team do you guys prefer do you guys like sharks more whales or dolphins let me know down below okay thanks for watching this i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye